crime. For probable cause to exist, a police officer must have sufficient knowledge of facts to warrant a belief that a suspect is committing a crime. The belief must be based on factual evidence. A red flag law would allow family, friends, neighbors, uh, police officers, and yes, possibly even politicians to request a hearing which you have no knowledge of held against you without due process in the courtroom to strip you of your Second Amendment rights based off of feelings, not fact, or possibly even political power motivation, based off of someone's opinion. This is unacceptable. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? I believe a red flag law will allow government to recklessly target law-abiding citizens to do nothing more than disarm the population. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's right. That's right, guys. Woo! Yep. Also, another issue is universal background checks. In my view, the only way that's possible is a statewide, nationwide firearm registration. How is that even enforceable? The laws we already have that are supposed to The laws we already have that are supposed to keep firearms out of the hands of felons and criminals, how well are those laws being enforced? Take a look at Chicago. One of the strictest states in Illinois regarding firearms in the country and how many people are killed each year from violence. Only way you could possibly enforce universal background checks and a statewide registration is for law enforcement to go door to door. Would also It would also infringe on our Fourth Amendment of illegal searches and seizures. I believe the people of Wisconsin across this great nation should and must stand against this infringement. Maybe instead of creating new laws that would not only target law-abiding citizens, uh, the politicians of the country start focusing on the laws that we already have in place. When I look at the news nationally and locally, I see shootings after shootings and kidnappings, children being hit by crossfire from gang violence yeah. on a daily basis. Yep. It's sad. But people have a right, it's sad. an unalienable right to defend themselves. Hey, everybody. Defend their families, their communities. If you think creating some new law that criminals clearly won't follow to try and better those crime-stricken areas, you're wrong. Hey. Only thing law-abiding citizens can do is protect themselves from the criminal element. And I see everyday politicians who want to take that right away from we the people. It's not gun violence, it's people violence. Every time there's a mass shooting at a school or a church or wherever it is, you want to put the blame on the firearm. It's not the individual and not the individual who committed the crime. Why is that? The only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. That's right. Yep. Why do you think people call the police when they're in danger or being attacked or being robbed? Well, I choose not to be a victim. My rights don't end where your feelings begin. I encourage everyone to have a voice to choose their own way to protect themselves and their families. If you choose not to carry a firearm, that's your choice. But don't try to tell me how to protect my life and my family by disarming me because how you feel. No free man shall be debarred of arms. When tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. I encourage every citizen in the United States to call and write your congressional leaders, your state representatives, your governors, your attorney generals, anyone who introduces or votes for unconstitutional laws in this country. Let me not, or let them not forget who they work for, we the people. And they swear an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from all enemies, foreign and domestic. If they violate that oath, they should remove themselves or be removed. And I'm going to read a quote from Tom, uh, Benjamin Franklin. The ordaining of laws in favor of one part of the nation to the prejudice and oppression of another 
is certainly the most erroneous and mistaken policy. An equal dispensation of protection. The rights, privileges, and advantages is what every party is entitled to and ought to enjoy. And to those who want socialism and communism, you're in the wrong country. <laughs> I'll help you right. The wrong. I heard Venezuela is really nice this time of year. Right. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. And you're right. All of those rights belong to all of the people, not just certain select people. And we need to protect those rights, and we need to make sure that we watch our politicians and talk with our politicians and make sure that our voices are heard. Next, I'd like to introduce Mo Reese Delk. You got the floor. Hey, what's, hey, what's good, everybody? Hey. What's good, everybody? Hey, hey uh, I just want to get something off my chest right now. So, when I'm a video or a speech, it's more of getting things off my chest because we need to get things off our chest because we are, uh, we the people. So, freedom of speech is getting things off our chest. When it's off our chest, what type of burden that, that is off of us, you know? So, we feeling alive and uh, it, it, it is so sad, you know? Because today, no, like about a, uh, an hour ago, I got a sergeant over there, right? But it was all good. I wasn't feeding it to her. Getting assaulted, like, like whoa. Like, you know what? I didn't do that. I said, you know what? I said, oh, I see they playing a little game. But we the people, we got to um, come as unity over here. And life would never be fair. Life would never be fair. And it's so sad how these people are. And... And I believe, you know, and I, and I tell people, you don't gotta agree with everything that Trump says. You, 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 you don't. You don't gotta agree with no, what anybody says. But we gotta be the people and know how to be intellectual with each other and be more like forgiving with each other. You know, because this is this is deeper than Trump. And and I tell people, this is deeper than Trump. It is about principles. It's about. Uh, conservative values and we have conservative values and you the people I'm the people and we got to keep on striving for righteousness and once we strive for righteousness and strive for perfection that means we're going to do our best that's that's when we're going to be at our best when we strive for perfection and no one is never going to be perfect and it's just like you know this is deeper than just getting our voice out there. We gotta be at, we gotta spread in love out there because I'm gonna tell you this. About an hour ago, some guy just went out there and, and yelled at me, right? Oh, you, you, you're a white supremacist. And I, and I said this, okay, do I like white supremacists? I looked at him, right? And I, you know, I shut my dreadlocks. I said, oh, I said, this is fun. I said this, so I'm a white supremacist, right? I said this, he like to say, no, you're a fat, oh, I'm a fat, I, dude, come here, man, do you hate me? I said, no, I don't hate you, do you think all Trump, Trump supporters are racist? Not exactly, and so, no, I got to him, I talked to him, I said, come here, you need a hug, and I walked to him, I hugged him, I swear, I just did, and he was all cool, I said, oh, I felt the love, I like to do it, I love you, guys. go ahead, man, ain't nobody, he said, I said, they bought me, or they was wrong, there was people defending me, and I looked like, you know what? There is still hope here in America. This country, as long as you're in this country, it's gonna always be hope. You know, even even if you love, uh, cause I was I was left before too. Uh, I voted for Obama the first term, and after the second term, I said I'm not voting no more. And then Trump came along. I look like this. Okay, so we was all lost, but now we are found. We were all lost, so, but we are walking in the land of the lost, so we got to spread love. That, that's, all, that's all it is. I'm not going to see who can, I'm not going to say who can win an argument, but it's who can win in love, and that's the way it shall be. 
So I ain't got nothing to say with this. So I'm done. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. I was up here with a positive outlook on things. Right here. Up next, we've got Matthew Westrick. Concerned citizen, taxpayer, and patriot. Hello, everyone. I'm here to really just talk to you guys about our rights, and on top of all of that, really is the current situation in the United States. Right now, everybody is so divided. All right. right now, we should be coming together rather than being driven apart. We're driven apart on race, on religion, on politics. Right now, I used to be a hardline Democrat, and don't think I'm a Republican either. Both sides are broken. Right now, I'm here to talk to you guys about why we should be coming together. And does anybody here, if you think you can get into contact with your Republican or Democratic representative, raise your hand right now. Well, that's one. But right now, they don't want to represent us. Whenever they get into office, all they do is line their own pockets. And then on top of all of that, once they line their own pockets, they sit there and they try to propagandize of us and stand there and say that, oh, we're here for you. Every time it comes time for election, we're here to give you this. We're here to give you that. Or we're going to stand up for this. Whenever they get into office, they completely turn tail and do the exact opposite. And this isn't just on the Republican side. This is on the left as well. There are things that the left stands for that the moment that a Democrat gets into office, they completely turn against it, which is something I think a lot of us really need to be appalled whenever it comes to it. Our, our, our Republican and our Democratic congressmen and representatives are supposed to represent us, the people. Instead, they represent themselves. Right now, they also allow multiple violations of our rights, whether it be censorship on the First Amendment, and just plain ability of the multiple different types of agencies and other types of media people to sit there and twist and to revogulate, sorry, I apologize about that, but to pretty much contort our own words against us and to make it sound like we meant something else. Then there's the actual blatant and overall just encompassing violations on our Second Amendment right. There are tens of thousands of laws in our country against gun rights. Right now, our founding fathers would have been appalled at what they see in this country. Right now, back then, at Lexington and Concord, they were fighting for their right to their arms. When the, when the government came to take their arms, they stood that stand. They knew that they might not make it back to their families, but they stood there, and they stood that good fight. Then it comes down to our Fourth Amendment violations of due process with these new red flag laws, where all it takes is a simple accusation to where they can immediately go and take your rights as a gun owner, to where you have to spend thousands of dollars to go work to the court system to take them back. Then it comes to violations of the Fifth and Sixth Amendment under the indefinite detention laws, to where you can go to a government facility and not have a, any type of jury trial or anything because you're seen as a threat to the nation. Another thing about that is we are here for everyone's rights. I'm glad to see counter-protesters here making their voice be heard. I'm happy that they're organizing and getting active. They need to, because if we don't get active and if they don't get active, our voices aren't heard. So I'm glad that they're here. I'm glad that they're making their voices be heard. And the last thing I'll really say is the words from T Thomas Jefferson, and that is, I'd rather prefer a dangerous freedom than to live life as a peaceful slave. And I'm kind of making paraphrases there. Thank you, Matt. Next, I would like to introduce Earl E. Arrowwood, organizer for Guns Across America, a patriot, and a former Marine. Semper Fi. Morning, patriots. And that the said Constitution be never construed to authorize Congress to infringe in the just liberties of the press or the rights of conscience or to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceable citizens 
from keeping their own arms. George Washington, February 6th, 1788. Gun laws, not only unconstitutional, they only work for those who make the law. Period. End of story. Take it to the bank. In 2018 at the Borderline Bar and Grill, Thousand Oaks Parks, California. 13 people killed, 11 wounded. 2018, Marjorie Stoneman High School in Florida, 17 killed, 14 wounded. 2018, Tria Life Synagogue, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 11 killed, 5 wounded. 2017, Pulse Nightclub, Orlando, Florida, 49 killed, 53 wounded. 2017, First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, Texas, 26 killed, 20 wounded. And what do they all have in common, folks? They're all gun-free zones. 98% of the mass shootings done in America are in gun-free zones. 98%. I'll even argue in 2017 when the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada, where 59 people were killed and over 500 were wounded, was a mass shooting in a gun-free zone. Multiple gun-free zones. That hit a demand, liberals. The Mandalay Hotel, where Stephen Paddock fired multiple rounds, is a gun-free zone. The Music Rounds, which is owned by the MGM Resorts, was also a gun-free zone. In each instance, these cowardly shooters didn't care about the laws or posted signs on a door. They didn't care about local ordinances or where they were happened to be a gun-free zone. These sick, twisted criminals didn't care that they were doing what they were doing was immoral. They didn't care that human beings were being slaughtered. They didn't care that they would shatter the lives of mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, and the children of the victims. However, it is evident that the perpetrators of these horrible crimes only cared about the locations that they did these crimes in. And it made it much, much easier to commit these dastardly acts. And if our liberal counterparts had their way, the entire country would be a gun-free zone. Thus limiting the law-abiding citizens even more by putting more families in danger, by forcing us into unsafe places, which cannot be protected to the limitations of presence and the crucial time needed for police to respond. Folks, our Second Amendment is continually being put under attack by those in the government and the liberal media who have armed security, by those in the government and rich media producers who have high walls around their homes, by those in the government and media who work in places that have procedures and technologies in place to stop perpetrators from coming at them, i.e. x-ray machines, armed guards, security you the angry liberals? <laughs> and so on. These people who believe their lives are worth much more than ours fuel this debate while putting themselves on a higher ground, behind walls, behind guns that they want to ban, and behind technology that we, the ordinary citizen, are unable to provide for ourselves and our families. I'm going to lay out some truths here, and you might not like it. However, if we, who have, it is we who have allowed the hypocrisy to happen. It is we who have allowed these fascist, self-indulged narcissists to rule over us, dictating their rules that we cannot live by, while they live in their guarded fantasy worlds to protect themselves and their families. You need to ask yourself. Did I vote in all local and national elections? Have I voted my conscience? Did I vote the way my work union told me to vote, or did I this is vote it. the way they would have despised? Did I vote for a candidate who believes in open, open borders? Did I vote for a candidate who believes there's 99 oh, genders? If you did, then you're part of the problem. Come 
They, they angry. I have to say never quit. Black struggle. Stop acting like you love black people. You guys don't. Y'all I'm black. I'm an ex gamer. I'm an ex gamer. I love you. I'm not hateful. I don't hate you. No, I don't hate you. black people and I show this to me look at this look at this these are demons look lost lost the space this is what our country has become 
Let this be an example, everybody. Look at this. Trump deranged syndromes. They suffering from Trump deranged Antifa. No, he went back up here. Don't touch me, Antifa. And that's, and that's the truth. You know, I come in peace. I, don't, I come in no hate. I don't support white supremacy. I don't. She, look, she's a star now. You know, stay neutral. Because I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't, I don't hate you. Fascists you go like you home. Fascists go home. You hate me? Fascists go home. Do you hate me? Go you can't come in love with your people. I ask you, do you hate me? You can't answer that. I ask you, do you hate me? Do you hate me? You, it's a simple answer. I don't hate you, baby. And I don't hate you. This is scary. These are zombies. Night of the living dead. This is this is crazy right here. Look at this, y'all. This is scary. And they are coming right at me. They try to antagonize you. That guy is trying to antagonize me. Watch this guy. Watch him. Watch these people. Why the horn? <laughs> Why the horn? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> I don't care. Dude, I don't care about your horn. Brother, I don't care about your horn. there so so I believe in free speech so if y'all feel this way y'all can do that so no y'all got y'all is free speech yeah free speech <laughs> you, you, you cool hey do you hate Trump why do you hate Trump I want you, I want to know. Do you think I, is I'm a fascist? I'm here to tell you to get the fuck out of my community. Is I'm a fascist? I'm black though, but I'm black. I'm a black man though. You don't know about the black struggle. You don't know about the black struggle. 
Chicago. You guys don't know. And Cephas, y'all don't know the black struggle. So start acting like you love us. Look at this angry, this angry dude right here. This dude is angry. Look at these pictures. Dude, this is real news. This is real news right here. This is real news right here. Look at this. She's the only one I like out here. I like you. I trust her. Look at her. I like her. She's cool. <laughs> we right here. There go more Antifa. What's up, Antifas? My Antifas. Oh, Black Lives Matter. Black, oh, hold on. We, we live, y'all. Hey, Will Johnson. I'm right here. Look at this. Hey Alex! Look at this, Alex! Hey Antifas! These people ain't playing! These liberals ain't playing! These commies ain't playing! Chantel White Supremacy! Do I look white supremacy? You guys are! I'm black. Oh, I see. 
I'm black people for so what you feel about me supporting them? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's your opinion though. It's all good. My son is a burn supporter, so hey, it's all good. Hey, they can come back. Alright. This I don't hate you. So I just wanna talk. I'm very intellectual with conversation. You know, I am, I'm very intellectual. I'm not I don't spread hate. <laughs> I did not come here to spread hate. That's why I'm over here. No, it's good. Go ahead. Everybody, you know what? It's just free speech, right? That's why we all here, right? Hey. Are we here for free speech? Are we here for free speech? Do you believe in free speech? That's what we're doing right now. I promote free speech. So good. I'm, I'm, look, I'm for, I disagree with you, but you have free speech. Yeah, look at them. We jamming, let's dance. KKK, come on. Oh, look at this. They're blocking me. Look at them. They're evil. Look at them. Oh, look at that Tiba. Hey, is someone white supremacist? Some of white supremacists. It's all the white supremacists. Look, y'all. They're angry. We're gonna fight this. Why y'all covering it? They cover their faces. <laughs> Trigger liberals. Look at this. Look at this. But that's the real Nazi style. Look at these trigger liberals. They are trigger. Oh my, look at these. Look at these hateful people. These people are hateful. Look, little fingers right here. Hey, you can't make this up. See, look, I feel people respect me. It's all right. But y'all have free speech. Look at this! Angry liberal right here! Angry one! Why so angry? 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 Hey, why so angry? Why so angry? You you hear you angry! Do, do, do you think I hate you? Do you think I hate you? No, I think you're kind of confused. Y'all think we have... <laughs> Stop. No, you know I don't hate you, though. You do. You, you can't shake my hand? See, I can shake your hand and say I love you. I can shake your hand. I can. Right. That's all right. That's what I'm talking about. My son is a, my son is a Bernie supporter. My son, I got a son that's a burn supporter. He don't like y'all, and, and, and we very intellectual with each other. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, I'm sorry, but have a good day. Yeah, all right. All right, look at you. Y'all angry. What's the point of all this? What's the point of all this? I'm not hating nobody. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate you. What are you talking about? Look at the angry liberals. Angry. 
They are angry. Stop the hate. Look at them. Stop the fear. Look at these commies. Look at the globalists. Y'all are getting censorship. Stop the hate. Stop the fear. You guys are fascists. Stop the fear. Stop the hate. Stop the here. We're behind the scenes over here. This is the head right here, the Antifa's. we right here in the belly right here. So why do you hate Trump? Do you hate Trump? Do you hate me? I don't hate you. Do you hate me? I hate what he's doing. But do you hate me? I support Trump. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Let's be intellectual. I don't think you're very smart, but... Yeah, I don't think you're very smart either. <laughs> you're a decent person. Why? I voted for Obama before. I'm an old Obama supporter. That's fine, but you're, you're not a good person now. Why am I a good person? I'm, you're not a good person. I don't hate you, though. I didn't say hate you. I love you. How can I gotta be a good person? I mean, I got Christian values. Dude, I don't hate you. Do you have Christian values like Jesus locking people up and turning oh. them away when they're in need? Come on, God! But that's your... But <laughs> you guys are... Oh, these liberals. Hey, how you doing? Do you hate... Oh, thank you. How you feel about Trump? Oh, thank you. Trump is your president. Is Trump your president? I don't think about him. <laughs> hey, Trump your president. Look at this. Hey, do you hate Trump? I hate Trump. He's an asshole. Hey, that's your opinion, though. Do you hate me? No. All right, I show his love. That's what I'm talking about. Respect people's opinion, right? It is. That's why I'm here, because I'm a Trump supporter, and I want to unite everybody. I'm not trying to hate. I tell you, I love everybody. I'm not trying to hate. To each their own. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, hey, thanks for coming on. Take care. Appreciate you. See, this is how you can talk intellectual people. I'm out here, I, I'm not out here spreading hate. I'm not out here spreading hate, but I'm gonna tell y'all, stop being angry. Stop being angry. Oh, here the angry dude again right here. There he go again. There this go again. What kind of music you listen to, bro? Huh? What kind of music you listen to, bro? What kind of heat? What kind of music you listen to? Are you packing right now? You think that because I'm from a black neighborhood, I'm packing? Nah, man, you said something about heat. I ain't said that. What are you talking about? Get your live stream the fuck out of here. Dude, Antifa, come on now. Antifa? Are you Antifa? That's what you is. Yeah, I like you, man. Yo, what kind of music do you listen to? Rap music. I listen to rap music. What, I listen, who? I listen to the 80s. Who? By who? Uh, 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 uh. Raps. 80s? I listen to uh, Lionel Richie, all that stuff. Yeah, it's not rap, man. This motherfucker not listening to rap. What are you talking know. about? Look, look at that angry Lionel, liberal. Lionel, Lionel Richie ain't rap. Dude, I, I'm from the black community. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Oh, same. I'm born in, I'm, I'm from the west side of Chicago. So, so Rahm Emanuel paying you? Rahm Emanuel paying you? Rahm Emanuel, I'm from the west side of Chicago. Rahm Emanuel paying you? I'm a former gang member. Oh, what kind? What kind? You, you, you born again with us? All right, all right. <laughs> I'm a former gang member. Y'all don't eat you. I'm from a black struggle, fool. Y'all are idiots. You feel cool? Show me a black antifa over here. I'm trying to engage with that. Why are you trying to engage with that? No, fuck it. Fuck it. Yo, antifa showed his face. You hit it, Elizabeth. I'm coming to join you, honey. You feel cool? Antifa showed his face. Dude. Look at you, man. Small dick ass having motherfuckers. Dude. I'm gonna talk about the pig. Dude, I'm the one in Wisconsin. They gotta worry about now. Oh, you're not putting it correct. You said the F word. <laughs> hey, okay. Alright. You can't have a civilized discussion with guns in my face. Fuck you. Come on. I like guns just as next to everybody. I'll shake your hand. Hey, I kind of like you. Hey, dude. I kind of like you. Hey, 
I kind of like, like it. Can you give me first part? I kind of like it. I don't want you. I kind of like you, though. Oh, I like you, though. Because you, you like Lionel Richie. Well, give me, me and Lionel Richie are tight, part. man. He's like the best give rapper in the world, man. bro. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so we like, cool. let's talk more about music, though. What kind yeah, of yeah. music do you like? I like rap. I like NWA. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. NWA. Yeah. So you don't see any, like, contradiction between some of the music you're listening to and some of your politics? No, I don't see that. I love NWA. I love I'm a nigga with attitude. That's what I am. You guys look like I'm a real dude. This is, I'm, a, this I'm a nigga with attitude. I'm from the hood. Look, I'm, a, I'm an old school gangster from like Chicago. I'm a former gang member. Good. You yeah. talking to a former gang member that was in the lifestyle? Well, before. And he listens to Lionel Richie. I listen to all that. And he's Lionel Richie's a rapper, right? No, he ain't no rapper. Then why'd you say that? Oh my God. Whatever. I said okay, it. Okay, so you're from West Side of Chicago. You like the White Sox? No, West Side. I'm a diehard White Sox fan. All right, word. Bears think, fan. Think, look, look, I'm you got bulls right here. Richard? You see my tattoo right here? You think the White Sox are no, from no, Chicago we, too? No, we still re rebuilding. We still rebuilding. We still rebuilding. Yeah, but you guys got might get that uh, that first baseman, Bryce Harper. You think you, you think you're good on that? I hope so. You go to a lot of games. I, t I ain't went like three years because yeah, I. That's a lot of White Sox fans. Yeah. Right? Well, you showed up. No, I and showed when, up. When 2005 happened. Yeah. Oh yeah, when Ozzie Guillen, rookie, with Ozzie Guillen right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we can you talk. On intellectual. Their permission to choose well, you look like a bitch. Dude, 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 hey, you a Packer fan? I'm a Bear fan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a bitch Go Bears! I love them. I'm not walking around. Hey, this our year, Chicago Bears. I don't know. You, you don't know. This Chicago anymore, Bears year. You don't support. You do not support freedom. You do not support UBLU's. See, we can all have a conversation. If we all can sit down and have a beer together. You know how you know how you you, you know uh, that we all sit down and have beer together. You know how much we we'll all get along and be intellectual. Do y'all know that? Respect each other as people. And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I'm not trying to force my opinion on you, but it's your right to protest. I respect that. I respect that, and I tell, I say as a person. I'm not against that. I'm a conservative, but I'm coming out here with love over here. I'm not coming. I, I don't come to spread. No, no, they want to like Hitler, Hitler. Talk to them, get them to Did you know what Hillary Clinton did? Hillary Clinton? I don't want their guns, their guns making me Hillary Clinton didn't want that either. Really? It's your opinion though. Seize your firearms. That's what that means. That's why we're here. Yeah, Who's gonna take your guns? Who's taking your guns, man? Well, who would do it? I don't know. Right? You got the option taking your guns. Senator Feinstein, that man. Yeah, but who's gonna enforce that, man? Come on, man. We're calling a range. Who's gonna take those guns? Who's gonna take those guns? I respect and understand what they're capable of. Yeah. <laughs> I respect what they're capable of. Yes. You know? That's it. You know what I care about? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to own guns. And then what they do? Yeah, I would defend myself. Yes. Look at this. The fun thing, I don't even hate y'all because I walk through y'all. Yeah, but, you know. I walk in love. I don't walk in hate, but it's, this is like, this stuff is getting ridiculous over here, y'all. Look at this. It's a lot of madness over here. There's a few people you can talk to, but you can't talk to everybody. Fascists go home. Fascists go home. Look at them. Okay, hey man, Antifa. So I'm walking right here. Hey, horn blower, how you doing? All right, yourself. All right. All right, good to see you. Look. Where'd you get that hat? I'd like to make America great again. Good, good, good. Can I have a hug? Look, we can look. Look at this, everybody. Look, Jeez. one of the horn blowing people. Look, look, look. look. Yes, it's me. I'm in the car. The horn. Look, she's right here, and we cool. Hi, friends. I'm in the car. I don't. Marching band. And, I, and I'm proud of her because you know you, you, you out here and, and stand up for your cause. Yes, sir. You stand up for that. I'll tell you why I'm here. My grandma is not going to get arrested. Okay. My neighbors. I live on the south side. I don't expect any of my neighbors to want to come. I'm on the risk of getting arrested. Yeah. So. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. And so that's why you blowing the horn. Yes, sir. And so look, behind the horn. scenes with the horn. Look at this. That's dance. It's all good. It's all good. You know, I'm for free, we for free speech. Look at this. If that's how you feel, go ahead. She got the horn. Look at this. I want to take a second. We right here. We cool. Look at this. Oh, she's that's she my favorite comedy now. What's up? Hey. I'm cool with a comedy. Look, we cool. What are you then? I'm a Unitarian. Okay, I don't know. I'm good. It's a faith obligation to stand up for the people. Okay. I don't know. Y'all all the same to me. <laughs> Y'all all the same to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all good. Are hey. you live, my friend? We live. We live. We live. We got almost 200 people we watching. We got them on the run. They're all packed up next to the building and we're creeping up on them. Hey, so how you feel about the wall? About us funding the wall? I think the wall should be short enough to hop over so we can share some beverages and meals with our cousins to the south. Hey, hey, hey. But short wall. Would you let anybody in your house? Absolutely. My uh, house okay, would you leave your door open in a bad neighborhood? Oh, so you leave your door open, everybody can walk in and go ahead and beat, beat you up. I don't think you can beat me up. I have a baseball bat. Oh my God! See, that's what I'm talking about. You can get you a beer and then you, you won't be mad. With see, uh, <laughs> she's not even listening, but that's yeah, okay. That, 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 that's her opinion, though. Know? <laughs> she's funny. I actually like her. She's, she's look. It's, you know what? I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually cool with her. Madison. Look, I actually love her. I think you're she's cool. Here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. No, I'm in uh, Milwaukee. I actually like her. What the heck? I end up like it. Look, look. One of the pro, look. One of the protesters I'm cool with, I'm, and I kind of like her. Hey, hey, you got a Facebook? Can I get you on my show? I don't know what your show is. I don't. I, we're gonna talk. I get you on my show. Do a Facebook live together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this, man. Cause this is gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. I know me. All right. Look at this. <laughs> I know me. I'm just, I'm just cool with everybody. Hey, how you doing? Huh? Some of my best friends are from Milwaukee. Oh, your best friends? You know Gloria Hayes, the musician girl. Uh uh. Hammer dulcimer, where you bang on it with little hammers. Okay. She's from Milwaukee. Man. They've been moving closer and crowding in against those Nazis. There's yeah. 25 of them, maybe. How right. Many did you I didn't see that many. Did you see any women? Nazis? Female? Nazis? I never seen no female Nazis. I never have either. You know why? Because it's only lonely white boys that want to be Nazis. Only lonely white boy bastards. They want to own everything. But I see a lot of them on the left side. Lonely white boys on the left side? I'm, look. I see stuff what the left is doing to the black community. And, and I... I'm an old Obama supporter. I used to support Obama. Even though he was kind of a war. I like the idea of that. When Trump came here, he opened up my eyes. He's a dangerous little asshole. Oh. So, but that's your opinion, though. <laughs> that? yes. That's your opinion. That's how she feels. If opinion. that's how she feels. I said he was a lonely little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. Look, I respect the dose. Have you talked to any I could, of these cops around here? I, I, I'm not talking to them. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? See, I, I'm here for discussion here, but I'm not here to, uh, to cause hate. I, I just spoke. I was one of the guest speakers. I came to talk to you guys. I spoke, and I can't, after that, I can't even talk to you. You have to speak. And I That's spoke. Right. right. And you know what? And we can agree on that, right? First Amendment. All right. She's right. blowing her horn. Go ahead, blow your horn. But she's blowing her horn. All right. Hey, nice to talk to you. Take care, Milwaukee. Hey, you too. Go ahead. You be safe. All right? Look, everybody. So I am out here spreading violence. So anybody ever go ahead and say more recently incited violence? I never done, never done that, and never will do that. Hang on, Tifa.
What's it going? Can, can I get his handshake, Antifa? Antifa won't shake my hand. Antifa, shake my hand, Antifa. See, Antifa, look, he won't talk. <laughs> you got these four, those are, see, people like them are the far left right there. That's the far left, Antifa right there. <laughs> so, why are your name calling? I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Hey, how you doing? Look at the Antifas again. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm clean. That's clean Antifa. Oh, I should have brought clean Antifa out here. Look, look at Antifas right here. Look at these Antifas. Look at these Antifas. They're right here. Hey, it was kind of, I met a couple cool Antifas over here. It was cool. Hey, a couple of them was cool. Look, he said, no drive out. Piss rain. Hey. But it is NPC, though. We're right here. That's my guy right here. We're my other truck support over here. I have to, like, what that means. Dialogue train. A tree. You play, like, an RPG. Yeah. He's right, right here. How you doing, General Strike? Doing better. All right, you're better. Good to see you, man. See, I don't hate you. I, I told people I didn't, I didn't come to promote hate. I just come to promote love. I love everybody. But I'm asking for what you believe in. Because I tell people, my son's a liberal. And we, we, we argue, we talk, but we have conversations, so... Open dialogue, that's what I'm about. So, it's all good. I didn't come here to spread hate. I'm pretty sure why y'all didn't even. But it is what it is. But we got, yeah, for real, brother. You know what I'm saying? Your brother, I love you, dude. I don't I don't hate nobody. Just know that. They said, that kind of, that, that's why I'm upset. They said fascist. They called us fascists. I'm not a white supremacist. I'm not a fascist. I said, do I look like a fascist? I mean, use your common sense, yo. My bad. I, I'm not a fascist. I am not a fascist. Hey, what's up, brother? Are you online, dude? I wanted to come down and take a picture with you. All right, yeah, yeah, let's do this. What's up, what's up? I'm over here, man. I'm over here just having fun. All right. Hey, hold on, let me, let me turn this around, too. I'll screenshot this later on. What's up, bro? <laughs> right here. Make America great. Make America great. Keep America great. You right here. Keep America. <coughs> Got it. Nice meeting you, man. Hey, nice I see you, you online all the time. Hey, appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate you. Yep. I, I, I love to keep it raw and uncut. That's what I do. Keep it raw and uncut yeah, over you here. You do. You do. You know? Your videos, man. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, definitely. We all appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, good to see ya. We right here. So, all right. We're almost done. I'm walking through these angry liberals right here. They are freaking angry. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the hey, Antifa. Look at him. What? Look, he got. Look, he wants to. Put this is the greatest of all time. You guys are scared. That's why y'all censor. You censor us. And y'all hate there's a black man over here promoting that. Will Johnson shut y'all down too. Joey Gibson, all that. I seen how Joey Gibson came out. Joey Gibson, not. All right, all right. What's up, bro? We got a brother over here. I'm not even a black dude over here. <laughs> it's cool. Get no, it's cool. Of us, <laughs> yeah. okay, we're kicking. We live. We got to hunt some people watching live. No more fascists in our town. Yeah. 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 You live out here, man? No more fascists in our town. You live out here, man? Okay, I'm from Milwaukee, man. No more fascists in our town. Look, I'm from Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bears. I'm still mad about our Bears, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm mad at that no clipper, dude. Get down! Get down! No more fascists in our town! Get down! Get down! No more fascists in our town! Get up! Yeah! Get down! No more fascists in our town! Get down! No more fascists in our town! Get up! Get down! No more fascists in our town! Look at 
I said, you say cool. Like, you say cool as hell. Ladies, what that little sign is, You know. You know. Yeah. You know. Right here. Figure this out here, right here. That's the one. There it go. He's on and popping. On and popping. On and popping. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, everybody here, like, look, everybody out here just trying to live an everyday life. Exactly. This is everyday life. You know what I'm saying? Life ain't about politics all the time. It's not even about that all the time, man. At the end of the day, we, we sat down, man. And, and, and I look, no, I call them fascists. That's what I do. I call them fascists. It's like, they forget it. I voted for Obama the first time. I did. The first time. And I got tired. I saw Trump. I got tired of this bullshit. The way they dumbing down the black community. I'm tired of this bullshit, dude. Yeah, I'm you know? Good. You know, because they, 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 the, they here to dumb us down. I said, you know what? That's why I voted for Trump. I'm, a, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old school gangster cypher from Chicago, man. You know what I'm saying? GD, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was in, in and out of Cook County Jail. You know, turned my life around. So, so how dare y'all call me Uncle Tom? Because I, I know where I come from. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I feel you. you. You feel me, man? So people can't dictate their white life. You know, I never came down here to spread no hate. But that's they right to protest. And I can't, I, I can't look at, I have to step away from politics for a second. Like, you know what? Let me get away from politics over here and try to talk to everybody. I ain't got time for this all this <laughs> fighting and stuff. No, it it kind of got to my head for a second. Listen to everybody. But I'm, I'm, I stick on my conservative values. But I kind of like stepped myself out of this and said, you know what? Let me step outside the box some more. And go ahead and be intellectual with everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know? So, people, everybody's watching this. There's 108 people watching it right here. Y'all see Maurice Duck over here sp yeah. spreading love over here. I remember you. What's up, bro? <laughs> I remember him from last. Yeah. You know, but we have a right to our own opinions. Yes, we do. We have a right. Bro, there she go right there. Hey, you late, Antifa? You late, Antifa? Hey. I ain't late. I was down there. Yeah, Antifa, good to go to that protest. Yes. Hey, how you feel about Trump? Watch this. I don't care your opinion. I like her though. She's cool. Trump, you said? Yeah, how, how you feel about Trump? Ew. Ew, that's Ew. Right. It's just your opinion though. Ew, I hate, I hate everything about Whatever I don't know even what to, I call him traitor in chief because okay. he is not a human. He is not a person. He is not. He is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. We right here. Look, we right here. We talking, but guess what? That's her opinion. And guess what? I look. I love her. She. I think she's a wonderful person. But you wanna you wanna roll with these people? Go ahead. You, that's your belief. Roll with you. You wanna roll with these commies? I call them commies. Socialists. I I will roll with them because I roll with the liberation of all people. That's your opinion, and yes. I appreciate. Hey, liberation of all people. You you get along good with my son. Yeah. yeah. My son. Hell yeah. Look, he's a Bernie supporter. My son was all you know. So we look. He kind of like daddy a little bit, but we are. Yeah. We love each other. You know. Right. He right. said, stand up what you believe in. And I, you know what? You, as long as you, you go for the cause that you believe in. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm a pacifist. I don't like okay. violence. I but I right. do believe in the liberation of all people. And uh, since they have moved the goalposts so far okay. right, yeah. I don't think that there's much difference between my beliefs and the communist beliefs. Okay. Because we're all about the liberation of everybody. All right. Yeah. The, that's where I see it. Hey, that's what you believe. But I think, even though I think you're delusional, but it's okay. What's your opinion? <laughs> I mean, it's not the first time I've heard that. I mean, being a loud, outspoken yeah. Um, yeah. person, yeah. you get called delusional hey, and other things. What do you think about that right up, up in California? How they uh, banned the the, femi the, the the women's march because it wasn't that many black people in it. Um, I actually, I mean, that's it's tough because feminism is has been historically but, for white women only. Okay, but why didn't know that many black people in y'all movement? In what movement? Where you at right now? What you know? What, where you at? It's like. Um, I think in Madison specifically, it's difficult because there are a lot of disparities okay. here. And that um, people who want to march, people who want to be here, okay. have a lot more to lose being here than I do being here. I have my privilege, my privilege in my skin color, in my class, and okay. all of those things, where I don't have to fear 
police abusing me because I am protected by my privilege. Okay. So I come out to stand up for them. I am standing so up. So do you for have them. white privilege? Do you have white privilege? I name do. name the privilege. I do. I have if white privilege. If you do, can I hang out with you for I won't get caught with marijuana? Yes. Uh, so all right, my new white privilege friend right here. Look, I got a new white privilege. I love her. She's so cool. That's my new white privilege friend. You know? Oh, wow. Look at this. See, that's what I'm talking about how we can look. She gave me a hug. Look, gave me a hug. One of the protesters with the horn. Just blow your horn. Look at her. Right here. Uh, I don't. <laughs> oh, I can't oh do draw it. a sword and take you. Do. I got to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. All right, good to see you. Good to see you too. And you know, hopefully our paths cross in a better world in the future. Okay, all right. I might not agree with your hat, but I agree with the struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at this. What's your, hey, I ain't gonna say your name. I want you to hear your name, you know. But how you doing? I just say Antifa. Antifa. <laughs> Antifa. I'm Antifa. 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 All right, okay. Hey, good. I got a parody called Queen Antifa on my Facebook. It'd be funny. It'd be going viral. <laughs> it's called Queen Antifa. I mean, I'd be, I, I be, I be imitating Antifas and stuff. It'd be funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that? She ain't caught all that. These motherfuckers is dumb as fuck, dude. They're fucking low This fucking is fuck. dumb as fuck. They are very low I, I, I never seen dumb fuckers in my life. I think I must have asked who are the Nazis about 75, yes. 75 times, and they yes. were never able to answer. What the fuck is not this once. shit, dude? Their answer dude. is, oh, they're proud boys. Oh. That's not even true. I don't think oh there were any proud God. boys, number one. Uh, what the hell is this shit? Is it not quite over, but uh, where'd everybody else go? Uh, uh, Tom and... Uh, I don't know. Are they up there speaking still? Uh, their their rallies over the Antifa people took the took it. Uh, if you go up there, the exact same thing's gonna happen as day before. They're gonna just swarm you and try to prevent you from saying shit. So. Yep. All right. The hell, mobile servant. Woo, y'all saw this today, right? Y'all saw this today? This was wild. So that's their rally up there? That's their rally this up there? This is the, yeah, the uh, counter Y'all want to go up there? You want to go up there? And just, like, a little bit. Oh, wait, they're coming back this way. We got it. We Let's got do this. We got this. this. We, we got, got this. this. Come on. Just trigger liberals again. All right. Marauding. Look Dang. at these! They're right here, the trigger liberals! <laughs> Maurice Delk is in the belly! He right here! Look at this! Alright! Alright! Get, Get the fuck off me! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. Don't sir. touch me. I'm not touching you. You can see both sides. I will, I will hit you. Yeah, boy, you are I will do it. Jesus. You, how you doing about Jesus? A freaking Antifa just told me I need Jesus. Did you see this? That is a little zombie right here. These people are. Ooh, I'm not going to cuss. But I said these people are fucking zombies. They are fucking zombies. Look at these fucking zombies. These commie, the commie zombies. Look at this, hold on. The commie zombies right here. These are the commie zombies. Every time. <laughs> the commie zombies right here. Oh my, look at them. No KKK, no KKK, no KKK, no look at them. No Trump. Look at them. Look at these. No Trump. No KKK, no USA. It's her right here. No KKK. It's right here. No Trump. Here in Madison, Wisconsin. No Trump. No Trump. No KKK, no fascist USA. All right. No Trump. No KKK, no fascist USA. No Trump.
All right. All right. Y'all seen enough. I'm about to log on the video. All right. This is not fake news right here. All right. Thank you for everybody for coming on. Hey, I got to go. I got to bounce. All right. See y'all.